Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mora, and welcome to part six of my walkthrough of Math Detective. So I have restored five landmarks. I have seven more to go. So let's go ahead and get started by transporting to the next villain hideout. Back to CD Rom's house. Ooh, this plant there, that looks like something new. Okay, now we start using the circle tool. All right, point A, then point B. It, A, of course. What points sit on the circle? B and C. Now it's going to ask again what points are on the circle, I'm sure, and well, we've got three. And once again, it'll ask it. Oh, wait. B is on both circles. Once, I think once you do, almost every time I do microchip decoder, it's a new, a new area to 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 explore. And so after the first question, it's able to, it's easy for me to figure out what the remaining questions will be because they're basically like. A repeat of what I just did had just did done. Ah, it's like a pizza. Okay, now we're moving to bigger things in this. So, like addition here. Now we're using three numbers to find an answer rather than just two. So. That would be 56. Arizona. Uh, must be the Grand Canyon. Ah, 
Ah, Roger over and out's hanger. Oh wow, that's a that's a very good pun of a name, and it connects to his job as a pilot since that's Roger over and out is just common pilot talk code words. And I think here is where we'll get the landmark. Um, yep, there it is. Okay, here's another multiplication problem. Okay, yep, another clue. Ah, this music sounds epic. Again, happy I figured out that the background music was off and didn't want to go playing this without hear listening to it. loading because I'm getting a new message. Nine, I just wrapped up some unfinished business. Take a look at this. Turns out the Prometheus rock is actually a meteor that was found by an ancient civilization. They discovered its secret and tapped into its awesome powers. And it looks like Carmen's onto it too. We've got to rope this one in, Nine. <clears throat> got to rope it in, eh? Well, at least he's finally catching on. And I thought he had reached the end of his rope. So you thought. Now, of course, Carmen's going to be on to it if we are. Or if Chase is, I guess I should say. Okay, I think that's all the clues here at Roger's Hangout. Uh, so, uh, unlike Velma and Ventress's in the previous case, uh, even though there were three clues in her place and while well, she held the crystal capsule isn't here so uh so the last villain should have the last clues the la the last villain hideout uh blown a fuse what a what a neat uh pun of a name okay yep <sighs> so yeah i think crime wave sensor is like in almost every hideout in each case it's like i think it's it's like the equivalent of the spellinizer and war detective being the i mean well yeah i guess because it is you have spellinizer because sensor you have like those waves that appear when you get it correct but i just meant also the, it's the exercise that appears the most in each case and almost all villain hideouts and uh how many questions it takes to finish them about eight i think spellinizer did too okay so in elementary school, I never did subtraction this way. Not with three numbers like this. Addition, yes, but not subtraction. So I know what to do, but I have to think about this a little carefully. Let's see. Got to add them together in order to find the, the answers, figure out the solution. So... I 
guess if I did subtraction like this elementary school, it might have taken me a bit longer to figure it out than I did when I first played this game, but I had seen only addition like this before. Three digits, one on top of another, not subtraction. Okay, uh... When I replay this game on levels two and three, I can only imagine what math problems like this are gonna be and more advanced, how much more advanced they'll be. Nothing I probably couldn't handle, but it would take me a bit longer than it does right now to solve it. Uh, let's see. the best clue, I think, but Mule Pack, I, that's how it, also I figure out it's the Grand Canyon, because I know they say uh, that people ride donkeys there, when they're there. Uh, okay, two more clues. Okay, one more clue. <laughs> okay. Canyon, yeah. It's the Grand Canyon, no doubt. No doubt in my mind by now.
Oh, hanger, not hangout. Pardon me. Alright. Okay, here it is. I thought the Grand Canyon, world largest land gorge. And uh, here's Roger. <clears throat> oh, look, he's calling for reinforcements. Back up. And uh, oh, here they come. And uh, there's a V on their belts, so they're obviously Kyle henchmen. All right, now let's restore the Grand Canyon. Let's uh, look at the progress here. All right. Okay, so there's a total of 16. Two are in here, eight, and then eight. So that's just like what I've done also. That's uh, Six down, six to go, so it's six more spaces need to be occupied. I could start this, but I'm not going to. I don't know if it'll reset. If I even so, like if it'll be just the way it was if I come back to it, but it's in progress. So I'm halfway there. So here and ends part six of my walkthrough of Math Detective. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this just as much as I enjoyed playing it, and I'll see you in the next part. Bye for now.